What's up, man? Phil X. Okay, I grew up a huge Ted Nugent fan, and this is almost a Ted Nugent guitar. It's a 1959 Birdland. And the difference is, this is called the Florentine cut, and the Venetian cut is the pointier cut that uh, Terrible Ted used. And uh, so anyways, this is a, a thrill for me to play this guitar. I want to get a saw. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's uh, okay. Uh, it's six point seven pounds, twenty-three and a half inch scale, medium neck profile. Seems actually closer to fat, but medium is always like that gray area. All original, exceptionally beautiful. Only sixty-four of these things made in nineteen fifty-nine. It's a nineteen fifty-nine, and the Venetian cut that Ted Nugent used started in the in the sixties. Sixty-one. They started doing that extra cut. I guess so you could rock out more because the access here is like. Not good if you want to rock out in high A like Cat Scratch Fever style. So uh, before we get to Ted Nugent, we're going to explore the Vox AC30 on this bad boy. This is a treble pickup. I don't know why, but it kind of has that tone when it's clean like that. And this is middle position, two pickups here. And now this is the uh, neck pickup. I brought a looper in here today because I've always wanted to jam with somebody in here and there is nobody here to jam with. Actually, there's 400 people behind the camera, but nobody can play guitar or bass or drums. So, except for the looper, 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 the looper. Uh, and I, I discovered the looper today. I'm very not high tech guy. So this is the first time, no, this is the second time that I ever shot me using a looper in my life, which the first time was today. So uh, let's try this out here. Okay, too many buttons. Um, I moved the bridge a little bit, so I was getting excited. I think it's back. Moving over to Evil Robot Land, which is our new amplifier, the Evil Robot. Ted, Nugent, almost, <laughs> except for here. <laughs> Yeah, Ted. Hold on a second. 
You know what Ted loved about Birdlands is that you could really get them to feed back and you could really control it. And I'll show you. I'm going to punch in the pedal here. And there's a, a song on um, Cat Scratch Fever record. I don't know, I forget when, that, when year that came out, but there's a song called Homebound. And it's a melody. And like, it's almost like every note feeds back, so it goes something like this. So you know what I'm talking about. It's that feedback thing. Everything kind of rings out. It's really beautiful. And did you hear that neck pick up? Right? And then you get the... What else we got here? Without the pedal, neck pickup sounds like this. One of the coolest solos ever. Sitting in the bathroom thinking it's a drag. Listen to the teacher and it just in my bag. New bell rings, you know it's my cue. I'm gonna be the boys on board. Do this solo one more time. I'm getting lost with all this, this horn and this thing going on here. Here you go. Okay, um, Brownsville Station. You're going, what the hell's that, Brownsville Station? That was the band that originally did Smoking in the Boys' Room before Motley Crue covered it in the 80s. So yeah, a little bit of history for you. Anyways, awesome guitar, awesome amp, awesome looper. Phil X signing off. Thank you! Have a kick-ass day, baby.